Ross just sent me a Katana 100 Mark II. It sounds amazing. And with this video, Boss challenged me to do a budget how to sound like, and I'm doing Tame Impala in this one. Sort of like the early tones of Tame Impala, Kevin Parker, since I'm very familiar with those tones. So let's go inside, find the right gear, start to tweak some sounds. And the goal here is to make a song that sort of reminds us of Tame Impala. By the way, this video is sponsored by Boss. Let's go inside. I decided to go for the Fender Baja Telecaster. It's because it's the cheapest uh, guitar that I currently have in my studio. Use whatever electric guitar that you have. That is not the most important part for this sound. We are going to put a lot of effects on the guitar signal chain anyway, so use whatever you have. But it is important to tune the guitar down to D standard. Not drop D, but D standard. That's quite important to get the right timbre from the guitar. It's kind of weird, but it changes the sound just a tiny bit, uh, even though we are not going to do any like chugging in D. Uh, but yeah, it's important. Then I'm basically just plugging straight into my katana. I have the foot switch here because I know that I want to turn some effects off and on when I'm recording the song at the end. I'm running that into my DAW and I also have here the software so I can control everything so you can easily see what I'm adding to the signal chain. So let's find the right amp type first. I think I know that I want to use the clean one and that I want the variation turned on because that one seems to be a bit more glassy and the top end. <laughs> And I want to change my cab to a vintage sounding one as well. And then I want to add a bit more gain into it. Maybe roll off a bit of bass. and a bit more treble and I think we are good. There, I think we have it. And the first effect that I want to add in here, let's do that on the mod slot. And I think I want to use a phaser, uh, not the phaser 90E, but this one. And I think we are just going to use the four stage Phaser. That's a bit fast, so I'm turning down the rate. Also a bit more... Not exactly subtle, but uh, closer to what I want. I think that's good. And for the next slot, I'm going to add uh, the vibrato. Uh, what's really cool with this sound is how the phaser and the vibrato is working together, sort of like sometimes with each other and then against each other. It's really cool. So let's find one there. Let's turn down the rate on that one as well. Okay, we need to turn that down a bit. I think that's good. And delay. We need some delay and I'm going for the analog delay. We are doing sort of a slapback thing. That's a bit fast. And turn down the repeats and up with that. A bit slower. Yeah, that's good. And of course, we need a lot of reverb. Ideally, I would like to move the reverb first in the chain, but that's not possible, but it's also not a big problem. So let's turn on the reverb. I want to have, I think I'm going for hole actually. Of 
that one. are absolutely getting there I want a bit more of that vibrato I think I'm happy with that as a clean tone and then we need to have a fuss. So let's find something that reminds us of a fuss face. This one probably. And this is the effect that I want to turn off and on using um, the pedal board or the foot switch. <laughs> Level so we don't get a like huge leap. that is something that I'm really happy with actually. I think I want to use this sound to record like the first guitar for the end song of this video. I'm going to do this on the right side, pan this right and then I want to make a new sound pretty similar to this one actually and put that on the left side. But first I want to record this one. <laughs> Okay, that is done. Let's do the second guitar. Turn off the variation so we get a slight different tone. And I want to take away the phaser and I want to add a compressor. And I want that to be really squeezy. <laughs> That's what I wanted and I want to change the fuss to uh, a octopus. <laughs> It's really what I wanted. I want to hear the compressor working really hard. To me that it's a very like typical thing that Kevin Parker is doing. So let's use this tone and record the second guitar for the song. <laughs> I need to play some bass and do some mixing. See you on the other side of that. Then you can hear this song. Let me know what you think. Do you think we were able to catch the vibe of Tame Impala? I hope so.
have it, there are links down below if you want to get the tones that I made here and also links if you want to buy the Katana at Sweetwater and Toman. Thanks to Boss for sponsoring this video. Thanks to you, of course, for watching it. Leave a like, please, if you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.